My name is Dr. James Bogesh. I've been a chiropractor in practice for the past 18 years. The biggest part and the reason that I wrote this book is that over the past 15 plus years, I've managed to read 120 plus medical journals per month, always looking for things related to natural medicine, wellness care, disease prevention, physiology, or the way the body and the brain works is my passion. And unfortunately, there's a huge gap between what we know in the research, what I may have read this morning, and what happens in a typical doctor's office, specialist included. That may include your neurologist. There may be something that was published today that is very impactful for you that your neurologist may not come across for another 20 years. So part of that frustration is what brought forth the writing of the book and, and the migraines and epilepsy website so that I can educate people and they can learn how to protect their brain. One of the biggest points of confusion I get with both the website and the book is that patients don't understand why we have migraines and epilepsy in the same context. Well, the reality is these two conditions share the same mechanisms when you look at a very basic scientific level. And there are many researchers who have coined the term migralepsy, so that patients with headaches that also have seizures or patients who have seizures that also have migraines. The beautiful thing about that is that the changes that you make to help your brain for one condition will help with the other. It's not like there's a single treatment for this one or that one. Many of you probably already know that a lot of the treatments used for migraines are anti-seizure medications. And so why would you use an anti-seizure medication for a migraine condition unless the two had some very basic things in common? One of the problems with the way we treat both migraine headaches and seizures is from a mainstream medical standpoint, their goal is to control the symptoms, to stop the headaches, to stop the seizures. And when we do, we high five each other and we're happy and we're excited and we pat each other on the back. The reality is those treatments have done nothing to fix what the underlying problem is. It's very frustrating for me because very rarely do doctors have that discussion with their patient about how to improve brain health. If you improve the health of your brain, that is the most important thing that you can do regardless of whether your seizures and, and headaches are controlled or not. Even if they're controlled with medications, the underlying process is still occurring. You need to understand that the, there's long-term damage to your brain by merely controlling the symptoms and not fixing the underlying problem. If you're having seizures or you're having migraine headaches, there is something wrong with your brain. And it doesn't mean that you've got a deficiency in Topamax or Depakote or Keppra. There is something fundamentally wrong with the way your brain cells are functioning. The reality is you are experiencing brain damage every single day for the rest of your life. Some of the changes that you need to do are simple. Managing stress can be a major challenge for people, but it has to be on the list. If you're a smoker, you have to quit. There's few things more damaging for the brain than smoking. Exercise, if you do the right type of exercise, it can do wonders for your brain. And 45 minutes on the treadmill three days a week may not be what you need. One of the differences in what you'll find here is that it's very comprehensive. When it comes to headaches, one of the things I've seen time and time again in my years of practice is that patients, by the time they get to me, have accumulated multiple types of headaches. The problem with that is they see a provider that's good for this headache or good for that headache, but nobody addresses the comprehensive nature of what migraine headaches are at the same time. They may see a chiropractor this day or a massage therapist, or they may see a neurologist this month, or they may see biofeedback that month, but they don't take everything together and understand that they all work together to improve your brain health. The same goes for seizures. Today it may be this medication, tomorrow it may be the ketogenic diet, it may be this supplement. It is about working together and making everything work together. And that's the component of the book and the website that's different, is it attacks this from every angle. In my resources, whether we're talking about the book, the website, the classes that I've taught, the goal is to teach you how to improve your brain health. That is very different from what most people get from other resources. There are certainly some out there but few are as comprehensive as what this resource offers. The biggest thing I hear from people is that they're frustrated or, oh my gosh, I've tried everything and nothing's worked, so I've just shut down and I'm not doing anything anymore. 
And I typically find that those people have not gotten all of the answers. They think they have, but they really haven't. And sometimes it can be a small change here or a small change there that can make all the difference in the long run. If you feel that your treatment has been missing something, if you feel that your underlying brain health is not what it should be, if you don't feel like you've gotten the information that you need from your providers or they don't have the time for you, or if you're really ready to make changes so that you can put these behind you and start living your life again, then sign up for your free copy of my Protect Your Brain series by clicking on the link.